I'm Maya Long and I like butterflies. And my grill is on <laughs> fire. <laughs> Breathe in. That's not even that bad. Three, two, one. Morgan. Last we got <laughs> Jason Morgan with last. Third. Let's get a zoom in on it. Full one. Head, the heads are cut off. Even though Maya argued with me that there's gonna be eyeballs on it. I didn't argue. Ooh! I got a video of it dripping. <laughs> I have to go into a classroom and just stand there without saying anything. So dumb. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best, sorry. <laughs> hey man, are we there yet? <laughs> Welcome back, Garrison Tech viewers, to our rendition of What's in the Box? What's in the Box? <laughs> okay, all we can hear is Dylan, so that's perfect. Uh, all right, we are going to play a little game called What's in the Box, and everybody in the background has to be quiet because otherwise it picks it up on the mics and then it kind right, of ruins guys. everything else. Thank you. Um, so to start, we got Dylan up here. Say hi, Dylan. What's up? Okay. Um, but as you can see, there's nothing in the box. <laughs> what? So how are we doing this? I didn't even talk about it before. I'm going to turn around. Somebody put something in. Um, are we going to have multiple people guess? Let's get three people behind the desk. Three people behind the desk. What's in the box? Okay. Let's go three people, and then we need one person's item. Does this sound right? I got an item. item. But no, you're behind the desk. You can't have the item. Yeah, I can. No. The item has to come from this side, because we can all see it. You're going to be able to guess your item. No, wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. We all feel it, and then we all get take our guess. Oh, wow. Yeah, you three. How about one person at a time goes, and then we'll all get You all three do. One at a time. For sure, for sure. Why is he doing that? Whatever. Why are you going back there? So you can't see. You can't see. There's a cover on the box. Just no, stand behind the table. For someone to put it in when they grab it out. <laughs> we don't want to see it until it until it's right. Well, unless we have a big item. When I put my thing in the box, you're not going to be able to see it because you're behind the box. That's pretty big. Okay. Well, you'll be able to see. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, person of mystery. Put it, your item in the box. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can see it right through. I see that thing, guys. All right, contestants of the first game of What's in the Box, please step forward. Am I up first? You got to stay back there. No, what, do you have to really? Yeah. No. Just, just all three of you stand back there, okay? You picked your oh. item real. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, now you're not going to guess. Yeah, you're just going to feel it. Can I feel? Yep. Uh, go ahead. Oh, you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. He has not touched the item yet. <laughs> What the heck? He's scared. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh. Oh my really? gosh. Okay, well, when, you, when you are done and you That's think you so know what it is, step back. Looking at you know what we really should have? We really should have them write it down. Taysom, you can go. So easy. You see it. This is. Okay, you're good. All right. <laughs> I, I can't tell what it is from the camera. Next up, Dylan. I'm gonna pull like a fake YouTube. Thing. Hey, hey, no cheating back there. <laughs> What's that? That was really loud in my ear. <laughs> All right. Mm. Dylan's giving her a feel. You guys got a good idea of what's in the yes. box? Can we release your answers? I don't know. How do we want to do this? Count down. Uh, can I get you guys all to scoot down? Um, all right. Count down, and you're all going to do it at the same yeah, time. We did this with Pringles. And then we went back. And, and then we went back and did it differently. Okay, go ahead. Three, two, one. Wet paper wet towel. towel. Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> so we got wet paper towel. Yep. Wet, wet paper, paper towel, towel and wet toilet paper. Isaiah was. It was a wet paper towel. A wet paper towel. <laughs> Sorry, that's my gum. <laughs> 
too it was too light to be a paper towel. I, that, I just oh, dropped my gum and Jace water picked water it up with his hand. <laughs> Jace, how's it feel? <laughs> <laughs> pretty sticky. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Oh, Three more contestants. Bye. Bikes. All right. He's putting his head. Driving the bikes. <laughs> and you guys can Scratch come out from behind the curtain. Go ahead. Shotsky. And base. Don't look through the hole. I'll go. I'll go first. First. Ah. Still has not touched the item, and his hands are in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, he's very confused. You won't ever get the you know, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Still confused on what it is. I don't think I'll ever know, so. <laughs> Jace's turn. Goes straight into the box and feels it. Easy. Thinks it's super easy. Shotsky's turn. Shotsky's <laughs> turn. Do you know what it is? Yeah. You know Turns exactly what it is? I think, yeah. Jace probably knows that you made it or something. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Jason. Oh. I did. I just didn't know what it is. <laughs> All right, Shotsky. Three. Knows exactly. Two. One. A turtle from pottery class. <laughs> nope. Jace, what is Akmal's it? Akmal's only one to guess. <laughs> Yeah. Just something potter, I don't know. <laughs> Shatsky? Exactly Same thing. No. I don't know. Uh, turtle from pottery class was my guess. Oh, right. Shatsky, what was yours? It's frog. He said the same. pottery. Frog. It was a hamburger. <laughs> oh! A hamburger! Did you zoom in on it so they could see what it is? Hold you guys that. didn't run the camera. Yeah, I was running the mic. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? I was going to say pig. But then I thought these were eyes for a turtle. Oh, you want us to zoom in on the box? They aren't going to get it. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> okay, you guys step up. Good luck. Come out no to the box. Rubs I know what it is, bit. but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> what? He thinks he knows. There is a tail on it. Why am I talking? Mm -hmm. Stupid. I think I got it. Oh, you Maybe. It. No, no. I don't I know what's going on. All right, Logan steps up to the box, rolls up his sleeves. Britain steps out to the box. Logan, do you know? Britain, do you know? I have an idea, but I don't know what it's called. Give him a countdown there. Three, two, one. It's Apple like, Play. It's like <laughs> an app. It's a <laughs> laptop charger, like an Apple laptop charger. Logan. Ah, uh, it's a the, it's the thing where you it's the thing where you connect stuff to the computer. That's oh, what does that like, mean? A, like, a, like a device. Okay, know. so that could be 37 yeah, different I, things. <laughs> um, do they all get it wrong? Yeah. It's an Apple TV. Didn't Jaden guess Jaden He said Jade. Apple Play. Uh oh. I don't know what it was called. I'm pretty sure Apple Play doesn't count in this instance. No. Nah, I can okay. just feel the Apple. Okay, bring it over here. That's my Apple TV. All right, I'll do my. No, I'm not taking that. Pat, that one doesn't work. That's why I grabbed it, just in case one of you guys snaked it. All right, three more people. <laughs> All right, come on out. <laughs> oh boy, who's going first? Hello. Cass oh, is up Cass first. Is so dangerous. Puts his hands in. <laughs> <laughs> Knows it right away. Can't stop Cash. Can't stop Junior. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, what's it called? Oh, oh, I know. Oh. Oh, okay. Five. Okay. No, hold on. No wait. On the countdown, they all have to answer. Yeah. We're we're one all for three on this. Are you guys all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Three, Four. two, one. Pop, pop it. Thing. Pop it thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Fidget pop it. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> pop thing. 
I if you said the word pop or pop it, I think that that's we all got it. Yeah. Pop it. Did you look in the hole? Right. I saw your eyes go down like this. Not I didn't see any. Sorry. Trank, you're up first. Oh, okay. Don't know what he's doing. But... <laughs> <laughs> Trying his hardest to find it. Sorry. Oh, found, found it. it. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> then I squeezed it really hard. Oh, got it now. I squeezed it. Took it. a little bit. I squeezed it. <laughs> yeah, this ain't hard. Okay, give us a count on. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Ping pong, Ping pong ball. ball. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, three contestants. Oh boy, go ahead and come on out. Good. I think it's Sevy. Hey, none of you guys are scared of like things that can bite, are you? No. Okay, that's good. All right, Jaden, go ahead. <laughs> Just go ahead and stick your hands in there. Oh, I want to go first. <laughs> No, no! What? Why? Uh, <laughs> Put it back down. Whoa, 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 no! <laughs> I don't think there's anything in it. Okay. No. <laughs> um, please don't damage the box. <laughs> well, it's not a bomb. Are you trying to listen for a ticking or what? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't feel anything in there. It says it on there, bro. Reach in there. <laughs> Where? Tell me what corner. No, the thing that you were just holding. Reach in there? Find an opening. Yeah, at the top. At the top Find, the there you go. Oh my god. Is there no, a no, no, no! 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 The other way! There you go. Put your hand in there now. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh, what is that? Oh! I was like, poop. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to tell once I pull my hand out what it is. Hey, just cover your hands so the other guys can't see it. <coughs> Okay, go ahead, Jackson. Oh, God. I'm scared now. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. So it's in, yeah, this, you, it's in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> I do that was one. weird. <laughs> oh, what in the world? I was gonna do pudding. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, I spread it everywhere now. Since I'm in my hand in that thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is, though. You're gonna know when you take it out. All you need to do is smell it like Jade did. <laughs> yeah, you know instantly. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Jason. How much you got on there? <laughs> <laughs> that much. I was scared of it. Just get a bite. I touched it. It was like warm. Oh, I, I can smell it. <laughs> That's Jaden. <laughs> Three, two, one. Elmer's glue. Oh. Do we get extra credit if it's Elmer's? Is it Elmer's? Clue. It is glue! That was a good one, Becca. Alright, who's oh, that? Oh! Oh, oh. oh god. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle. Oh! Okay. Think you got it? Yeah. Alright, next. <laughs> Claire's got it. Seems pretty confident. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Well, you were really. I'm glad we didn't put a tack in there. You'd be bleeding by now. Okay, you guys all got an answer? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mini marshmallow. Oh, yes. <laughs> My favorite was Claire went in with like huge hands. Ooh, I like this one. Oh. It's different. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Right. This one's different. I don't think they're gonna get it. No, Cooper definitely isn't getting this one. Want me to go? All right. I went first every time I've been up here. I thought that mattered. Who's that in? Doesn't. We can't know that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure though. 
Ah, uh, I'm sad. Go with that. Mmm. You have it? I think? I don't yeah. know. Marshmallow. <laughs> You're eating those hard marshmallows? <laughs> <laughs> They're soft and they get soft. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know Coop? He has no idea. <laughs> probably gonna... He's probably going to break it soon. <laughs> Is he taking it? Open it up. I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's breaking it. Okay. It's breaking it? Yeah. Or is it supposed to do that? It's not supposed to do that. Really? Well, I mean, not until you need it. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? No. Oh. No, wait, wait. wait. I have an answer. Hold on. You got an answer? Yeah. No. 39. 38. Can I feel 37. it? 37. No, only one feel. And we have one more to go. 35. Okay. 34. Three. You ready? 33. Three. Two. One. one. Tape. Ribbon. ribbon. Okay, what'd you say? Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. tape. It's ribbon. Hello? What is it? You ready? Ooh, I like this item as well. This is gonna be. Are you ready? Go. Go. I hear go and no. Go. go. Okay. I gotta go. You wanna go first? Yeah. Okay. You go one hand, I'll go the other. Yeah. Am grab. What's this right here? Jar of sand and other dirt outside of Zach Yule's house. Correct. <laughs> and I think he knows now. You feel pretty good about it. You knew exactly right away? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you will too. I don't know if I will. Counting? <laughs> well, yeah. I was annoyed that it was tangled. I had to tangle it a little bit. <laughs> I was annoyed it was tangled. So, yeah, same. I was actually looking for something. I just like doing this. Are you going on again? Yeah, me too. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Count down. Three, two, one. Ne beaded necklace. necklace. What kind? Pearl. I said beaded necklace. Beaded pearl. It's beaded. Not White. Pearl. No. No. Blue. How do you know it's I blue? It, blue. Swear. Blue. Is it blue? Yeah. You can feel blue. <laughs> That's shiny blue, actually. I was looking for a cross. I didn't know if it was a rosary right away. <laughs> I had to go around in circles. All right, we gonna do oh, one more. Or no? good, All right, Blip, Bryn, do you have one? I did, but I put it back. Oh, and, oh was it cool? Was it fun? Okay. okay. All right, that's gonna wrap up. All right. yeah. What's in the box? Okay. Go ahead. What's in the box? Um, will you guys turn off my mics over there? We left them on the other day. All right, welcome to our second segment on this episode. We are going to get vulnerable here. Um, we're going to talk about things that bother us or things we're wondering about. And I have something. I'll start. Okay. You guys ready? One thing that I'm wondering about, it doesn't really bother me. I'm wondering because I'm wondering what kind of person it makes you. Hey, pay attention here. Put your phone away, man. My dad was calling. Well, tell dad back off. All tell right? Big the phone D to Ricky. To, tell Ricky. Big D to knock it off. Put your, hey, your phone's supposed to be in your locker. Thanks. Okay, if you guys go shopping, Kohl's, Target, Walmart, Shields, wherever, you can go buy something, right? Should you have an AirPod or a head headphone in of some sort? No. Depends. If you're by yourself, yeah? No. Okay, so, yeah, okay, I, I finally got me some new black shoes yesterday, okay? Went to Kohl's. And I was right in the middle of one of the podcasts I listened to when I got there. And it was a really funny part. And I was by myself because my wife was getting injections in her back. And I was like, hmm, I really want to finish listening to this on my AirPods. But should I? No. no. It's a crossroads. Yeah. What, what your which should you not? You want to finish it again? Here's your choice. I just, I feel, I feel like it's rude. I, I think you know, what if, what if somebody, what, what if I like cut somebody off going into the dressing room? You know? Yeah, instead of, and instead, and instead, <laughs> well, instead of the, oh, excuse me, uh, sorry about that, didn't mean to, I'm not only cutting them off, but I'm also ignoring them because I have an AirPod in, and maybe they can't see it. I mean, if you Thoughts. apologize, then... But what I didn't, I'm not apologizing because I didn't know, because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> losing. 
I mean, if they get mad enough, you'll definitely know about it then and realize what. But you then, is it my fault, or do I say, "Geez, bro, don't get so mad"? Yeah. With the airpods I mean, still in, yeah. That's <laughs> Hold on. Let me pause this for a second. <laughs> Can't hear you. Seriously, I wonder that because I haven't seen anybody do it, but I see like you guys all walk around with earphones, earphones, and whatever. Yeah, move that mouse. Hurry, cancel. I'm just, it's just a question I'm raising and I'm wondering. So I want you guys to deliberate it while I turn off that fan. I'd say in certain circumstances, it's fine. Like, if you're not being a bother to anybody, then it's really not something to worry about. If you're likely to have interactions with other people, then don't wear AirPods because that's annoying yeah. talking to somebody who is not listening to you. I feel like in most cases, though, when you're going to go into a store, no matter what, you're going to have interactions with people at some point during your time there. So it almost makes it more of a hassle just to wear them anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how I feel. I mean, hey, or if you you're... Have your music turned turn down. Wear them, wear them. If you're in, like, a phone call, I'd rather have it so I don't have to listen to the whole conversation. Like, if you have it in your... Um, earbuds, rather have it just here on one side because I don't need them. Oh, you mean like if you're walking by somebody yeah, and they're on their speakerphone? Yeah, let's say that. Like, I'd rather, if, if I, we're thinking of that type of circumstance, yeah. then I'd rather have them here on one side because I don't, like, I'm trying to do my own thing, not Absolutely listen agree. to other people. So I don't need to hear a phone conversation. Put your earbud yeah. in. The yeah, other I would day, that. The other day, like, not the other day, I guess, but like two weeks ago, I was at the mall. There's this guy wearing these big black just headphones on his ears. Like big blues? Bigger. Ooh. And he was just going jamming out like all over the place, like doing this, like listening to music. I was like, I don't want to be friends with that guy. <laughs> I just I don't know why I thought that. If you're listening to this, I'm really sorry. sorry, but <laughs> didn't mean to call you out. We didn't name him. So didn't name names. Like I just guy. look at him and I just I don't know what I don't know what it is, but I just I've done it before where I was in the middle of the podcast or something and I've walked into like Dollar General like in town. Then I felt really bad because then I run into somebody that I know obviously I want to say hi and then I'm like, hey, what's up? Okay, bye. You know, or whatever, put it back in. But, whoa. I mean, if I'll, I mean, I usually don't wear any earbuds when I go shopping just in case like I have to actually converse. Like, yeah. Well, like if, if I know I need help oh, from yeah. an employee. I'm yeah. not. I'm obviously gonna try and give him my full attention because I'm the one asking for help. So. So what's our consensus here? Like, so it's I, okay. Yeah. So but don't wear them. It's okay to wear them. I think it's okay. Like, I'm not gonna say, "Oh, this person is rude just because she's wearing like <laughs> AirPods in a, <laughs> or a Target." Oh, like, so is it? I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but I, is it the correct etiquette to just be like, I'm going in public, I'm going to be around people, I should be aware of my surroundings. Is that the right etiquette? I don't think it's a, a great etiquette to have because it's like... It's not really necessary. It, it isn't at all, but I wouldn't say it's the worst thing. I'm not going to Oh, I'm going to give you necessary. I don't ever get to listen to my podcast because I have three boys and they need my attention and then it's like I don't ever get time to do it. So it's like squeeze it in when I can. Well, see, and exactly with that, like, because we don't know people's, like, circumstances at home. Yeah. So it's, I'm not going to go up to somebody, hey, take your earbuds yeah, out. Yeah. It's very distracting to me. Cause it's like, if it doesn't affect me, like, I, why should I need to worry? So this isn't an issue of etiquette. It's just a do what you want and don't judge people that do it. Well, I judge people. Well, yeah, it tastes Part of our sometimes, human nature. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yes. Is it? You're telling me a guy with big black headphones on and he's just being obnoxious like jamming out whatever like you're not going to look at him and go that guy's like I mean I don't know what he's listening to I mean to. judgment maybe is a, definitely learned learn behavior, behavior. Music. It's, it's learned behavior judging is. and yeah it's not human nature <laughs> it is we were not Close born enough, to judge though. yeah we were we were born to ride that's a song no we were born to judge okay <laughs> that's how you make friends we were born free that's also oh. a song <laughs> you make friends is judging. We were, give me another song. What's Lady Gaga's? Born, Born This Way. Born This Way. That's not really, does it fit? Oh, but yeah. Either way. Um, you got the idea, though. But you get it. I, don't, I have never heard a song Born to Judge, so. I mean, Born Taysen can write it. <laughs> okay. Spit some rhymes quick, right will, you, will you? Born to be alive. Anyway, that's something that has been um, not bothering me, but I've been wondering about. 
So I'm good if I go in somewhere. Yeah, one earbud, not two. Huh? One earbud. Yeah. Definitely one. One is better. One, 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 one is the the line to draw. You put in two, it's like you one. put in two. All right, that so means you're going for something, and you're out of there instantly. But I also think if you have two, you just don't know what's going on around you. So what if somebody's yeah. having a hard time? What kind of airpods you got? In the, yeah. You're walking on shop, and this guy's having a hard time. What if there's a guy? What if there's a guy trying to flag you down? And you got. And you're just like, nope. Exactly. You're One's pretty, okay, people. That's mine. Anybody else got something that they're wondering about? That's bothering them? Junior, what do you got, man? Yeah, what do you got, man? What do you got? What's something you've been wondering about? Something that's happened that you're like, I wonder. Um, that gets on my nerves? No, it doesn't be anything. Like, I was wondering if it's okay for me to wear ear, ear pods or air. Now you got me thinking. <sighs> Never mind. I haven't thought about that. You should have told us this, like, last week. Well, I, I told you guys to bring something on Tuesday for what's in the box last <laughs> I week. Did. <laughs> I did. You went to your locker. Locked. What's in there? 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 No. Okay. I had it all planned out. What do you got? I'll bring something tomorrow. And it, uh, no, I meant like for what's <laughs> something you wonder about. And it can't be road rage. Got one? Rex got one. What do you got, Becca? Okay, so if you put powdered milk what? in a glass of milk, do you have more milk <laughs> per milk? Powdered milk. Yeah, I don't Do you have like that's up for now? What is so, that? Yeah. You don't know what powdered milk is? I don't drink like powdered milk. Like it looks like flour, milk. and then you I put it into it water and it's make it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. You guys you don't put it know. Water? I know what powdered well, milk. Well, I think powder you milk. can put it into other things. Conversation. Yeah. It cuts out everything else. <laughs> yeah, you just add water and it makes. These guys aren't good podcasters. No, terrible. Jace always does that. Yeah, always talking while people are talking. Okay. Every time he's in a segment, it's. First off, let's start with the first one. Guys, that, hey, focus NFL, up here. See that NFL trade? Guys, focus up. Do you know what powdered milk is? Yeah, no, but I just... Powdered milk? I don't think it's... Nope. Do you know what it is? Yes. It's in this the This is name. an easy question. It's, it's yes it's or no. It's the powder Do you know what powdered milk it's is? It's the powder that goes on Okay, do you know what powdered milk is? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes we're over here. So just two of you don't know what powdered milk is. So I, told him, I already told I said, them it's yeah. the powder that goes on Well, you hesitated, so that made me think you were lying. No, I'm not. Okay. Suki, it's the so go back to what you're wondering about because this is a good question. Okay. okay. Guys, listen. So let me lengthen it a bit. If you put powdered milk in water, you get milk. Yeah. And milk is milk. So if you put powdered milk inside of milk, is there more milk? Are you like doubling your calcium? Yeah. Is there like? No, I feel well, like first it's really milk, bad for it. Milk I, it's too water. much. Of it. It's. I don't think it's milk yet. Yeah, I feel like it's <laughs> yeah. you You're just getting, it's, it's just like gross. drinking two glasses <laughs> of the worth of one. It's, it's, it's like, still milk. Okay. Like, I would say it would be like putting Taste two bad. dose of powdered milk with one dose of water. So, but, the, but the, the same question is, if I have a glass of milk and I add milk to my glass of milk, is it more milk? Isn't that the same thing as adding powdered milk to milk? Isn't it? That's what isn't, I would think. No. The powdered milk would be like condensed, isn't it? But then well, it like yeah. fits in the milk. So would there powdered be like more yeah. milk yeah. for each? So the whole milk would be like... It would be like... For eating, like, <laughs> I get what you're saying. You're not taking your powdered milk, putting it in water, and adding it to milk. You're taking the milk and adding the powder yes. right in the milk. Yes. yes. Okay. That's so it's not, it's not just milk and milk. I was thinking it was like if I have a glass of one percent, a glass of one percent, and I pour them both into a bigger glass. It's two percent. It's two percent. <laughs> <laughs> Bazinga. Oh, no, I'd have to that think that. That was funny. Really when you have one gallon. But you're taking a one percent and adding the powder into the one percent. Yeah. Is it more milk? It would make it more precise. Bad milk. Would it make it just fattier? I like, think so. Yeah. I, that without the science milk. of it, I would say you're, you're getting more milk. <laughs> just throw science out the window. We don't need it. It's fine. That's a great question. Yeah, no, 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 We're going to say addition by subtraction. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. No? Addition by addition. What I was wondering is... I'm not wondering about that, so... Do people actually drink powdered milk? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Obviously, she has to, right? She seems no, I, I know what it is, but I, I don't think it would. Some people happen. have to drink powdered milk because they might be allergic to something in regular milk. Well, well then you get almond milk. <laughs> that's another option, <laughs> yes. Or, that's milk. Milk. or coconut milk. I or what milk? Like silk I think milk. powdered milk. Silk milk. milk. I thought you said soup milk. milk. Goat milk, soy milk. All Speaking that. of milk, um. Big fan. <laughs> I like milk. So, oat milk is created by 
um, I think it's just oats resting in water for a long time, and then you strain that, and that's what oat milk is. I've never so, had any other milk other than it's cow milk. It's kind of like oatmeal. <laughs> I've had, I've had so what if you put milk. oat milk in your oatmeal and you just let it sit for a while? Would that be like more oh, oat milk? Oat milk, milk, milk. Milk, milk, milk. I don't know my we brain. Is <laughs> he actually hid milks in a uh, ceiling tile in the bathroom. Oh. Last year. Cut. What do you mean, cut? I don't want this on the podcast. That's funny. It's funny. He That's not care. funny. He don't care. He full milks, carton milks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't need us to to put a name on the person that decided to put milk in the ceiling tiles. There might be we can there might be one billion things cooler than putting milk up in the ceiling tile. Uh huh. Yeah. Wearing that hat's cooler. What about the silverware that was in the ceiling tiles? Still not funny. <laughs> that was funny. Not really. Not as funny as milk. No. Not as funny as milk. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna rate them, the silverware is funnier than milk. No. 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 Because. There were because. Chunks of milk. No. There were chunks of milk. No. The, the milk. The, okay. Because they're the same thing, right? I'm putting something up in the ceiling. One of them passes the line of funny and gets to cruel. You're talking about people that have to clean that up after you? I mean, come on. That's he cleaned the line. It. He cleaned he, it up. He did not. Did he, he dump did. the milk in or just set it No, they put the whole carton. Oh, so that's not, doesn't make a mess. Yeah. It's still gross. It's still nasty. What if you drop one? I think what if the singer fell and stabbed you? <laughs> that's right. That's cruel, too. They're both not funny. Both are funny. So funny. <laughs> Maybe funny is just different for you guys. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> what next? Out of all the things that you could do that are funny, that's what you choose? I mean, I mean come on. Hey, that's who the milkman chose. He's the milkman. Okay. Now, the nickname is funny. Bull gave him that one. Yeah, the, the nickname's funny. I don't think Bull the act is funny. He's got to show this is milk on it. To me, Why it's, wouldn't he be the milkman? it's funnier to name him that oh, yeah. because of the situation, sure. but what he did wasn't funny. It's the nickname that makes it funny. No? Can't have one without the other? Okay, give me something else you're wondering about. Suki was going to say something, wasn't it? Um, I didn't think of really anything. <laughs> uh, I came up with one. I just said, is it like disrespectful to wear hats at supper? At supper? Yes. Yeah. No? Yeah? I think any time that you go to the table, you take your hats off. Well, like people wear it at restaurants, like if you're going out to eat, some people just... No, some people don't. That's like the only time. Well, a like lot that. of farmers just yeah. leave their hats on when they eat at home. Uh, not really. I think that's an older generation thing. Like if you go into like, let's say Perkins, you go into Perkins to go have supper and you see like a farmer or somebody come in with a hat like yours on, they'll take it off. And well, they, I would take this off. When but you that's what I mean, they'll take their hat off and they'll put it somewhere. And when, like, you, when you go and eat at McDonald's, you, you, they don't take off their hats and stuff. I, yeah, maybe maybe not because it's not a sit down place. Maybe oh, maybe it, it depends is, on the restaurant. Sit down. It, it is a sit down. You can sit down in it. Can sit down, not a sit down restaurant. The difference between sit down restaurant and fast food sit down. Well, if they went to the drive through, well, there matter. is a sit down. But it's not a sit down restaurant. <laughs> People do sit down. But it's not a sit down <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> so how is it not a sit down? Because you you're not required down. to sit down to get your food. You're not required to sit down at a restaurant. You yes, you are, because no, that's you where stand. you are. <laughs> you no, they're not going to say, oh, here, just hold your plate while you eat here you on the can. side. You can. No, they won't. They won't, do, they won't give you enough food to eat there. You can well, do you it. Can do it. You can do it. Well, well you can choose to put milk in the ceiling. It doesn't make you... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're arguing a point that doesn't make any sense. You shouldn't do it, then. Okay, sorry. You shouldn't do it. I just sit down at a restaurant. You shouldn't stand for food. You You're not at Olive Garden nice. eating your hey, eating my lasagna. What are you guys having over here? Yeah, like, you have a couple extra pieces of bread. They won't serve it at my table that I'm standing like at. Standing table. What if you have to go to the bathroom, but they just give you a nice warm plate of? Uh, you bring it to the bathroom. But it's called a sit down. That's just yeah, the so term you the for it. Yeah, you stand and go to the bathroom. That's like road rage. It might not really be rage. You might just be angry. It's just different. Road angry. Called it road rage just because it's a term for it. Road angry. Road angry. We would call it real anger, but real rage sounds better. I'm a little getting vulnerable here because my emotions are changing. <laughs> What's your opinion on penguins? What? Um, <laughs> like them, don't love them. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I think they get too much of a 
Because they're so unknown, people love things about them because they don't know much Mr. about them. Mr. Shrank, I have a good question to ask. Is it disrespectful? Oh, you know what is disrespectful? In the middle of a conversation about oh. penguins when you jump in. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, thank you. Um, yeah, like them, don't love them. I have a question in the same section. Um, is it dis disrespectful or rude to like take out your phone when you're like eating with your family? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <sighs> I mean, if it's they family do, time. if they do it, then it's not. family time. No, it, it depends on your family. family. Like, I think it depends because, on the situation. If, if you guys sit down, if we're a family, we all sit down at the table to eat, and, 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 and the head of the table says. Hey, let's just keep our phones away while we eat. Let's just have a nice dinner. Then if the, the precedence is set, then it is rude. But if it's just, hey, we're going to sit down because we sit down and eat every night and I get okay. my phone out and then go, hey, why do you get that off for? What this is how I do it. If it's lunch or breakfast and you're eating with your family, yeah, pull out your phone. Who cares? But supper time. Supper, if it's, supper's a little different. If it's like you're eating on your own, supper's the you end just of make the day, your food you and you sit there by yourself. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so then, we're talking you know about just, about just at home with your family or like out in public? What if you're at home? They don't just then, because if that's, we're, You guys, this doesn't work if we all talk at the same time. You just got to try to pick your moments. So go ahead, Brent. If you're at home and you're eating supper with your family, then I say it's disrespectful if you take out your phone. But like, if you're at a sit-down restaurant and you're waiting for your food, then well, you're not eating. Well, <laughs> you're waiting for your food. Not... You are way too literal on all these things. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's because not... because she's at a sit-down restaurant. Thanks for using that. Term. She's at a sit-down restaurant, but you're saying. But you're still having it. You, when you're not eating, you can still be waiting for your food yeah, while you talking. Can, yeah, yeah, and you can have your phone out. Well, then you're but not talking. But that's my point. You're not talking because you have your phone out. You, yeah, you're you talking about your phone. You can be looking but so it's only disrespectful if your food comes because... Yeah, because you're supposed to be eating. You're yeah, so to, you're not supposed to be going. So you're like, like oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, food. Didn't oh, see oh, you look there. at that. NFL oh, I have trade. my family oh, here too. <laughs> <laughs> you're respecting the hey, food look, you're gonna hey, eat. Look more. at this notification I just got. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's that's disrespectful. God, but am I am I right or am I wrong? It's like I care more about this plate of food here than I do about the family around it because I'm not gonna that's disrespect them do my, my food. food while I eat it. Well, why would you want to do this? I I don't want to do any of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, lunch. That's, That's more convenience than it is lunch. disrespectful or respectful. Oh, yeah, so you go somewhere else. That's disrespectful. Have your phone you out while out. everyone else is eating? I think, it's, I, think, I think when you go out to eat, you should always put your phone away. Now, are there times when it's just like me and my wife on a date where all of a sudden I get a text message and then she's uh, sending a snap, uh, snap back to somebody and I'm like, oh, we're both on our phones at the same time. Isn't that almost worse to be on your phone when you're on a date than when you were just... Correct, a mundo. But at the same time, when it's like my dad going, hey, how was your date with your wife? <laughs> Still on it, dad. <laughs> Whatever. That was an example. But, but, but do you turn your phone off? No, I don't turn Absolutely my not. Phone what off. babysitter has a problem? Oh. So sometimes you just have to be on it. But I'm just saying, it's different when you're answering questions or you're talking to people. I'm going to get to you sec next. Okay? It's different when you're doing that than if you're going through TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. I yeah. think it's different if you have to communicate oh. with somebody rather than just scrolling feeds. I think that's that's where the line oh, is yeah. probably drawn. I, I think if you're on your phone while you're eating, that's not good. But if you're just like answering somebody, it's not that bad. Especially if you're just like eating with your family. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not like on it when you're having a conversation with them, like going, nah, yep. If it's like a quick yeah. text, yeah. it's fine. But if like yeah. you sit on yeah. it for I mean, minutes they, straight. They can wait <laughs> 10 minutes till your daddy. That's what I say. Maybe they're dying. They can all wait. But I think, I, th I think it's also talk about what to talk about. Like, yeah. That's it's part of it. You go, hey, let's just try to put our phones away while we while we have this meal together. I think that's important to say. Well, I find when somebody's talking to you and you're on your phone and you like answering but still on your phone, that's rude. Yeah, it's big. Oh, one second. Let me answer this quick. Like at Thanksgiving. Hold on. I gotta you're try to hold my phone. Family. Like you're not supposed to be on your phone. Like me, like Nelly. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Grot has got something. Is it disrespectful uh -huh. to what? Is it disrespectful to leave like in the middle of a church service? To like go to the bathroom or something, or, or would that, would that be just, fine? Would you think? No, that's a good question. How is it disrespectful? I think it is. You gotta go. How is it disrespectful? Disrespectful? To leave? To it's just awkward, maybe. Like, okay, say so you're I, at I like a we're wedding or a, answers here. So okay, a say you're at like a wedding or a funeral and you leave. No. Would that be <laughs> would that be disrespectful that's or would that be like like, like a normal Depends thing? On what moment. I think the timing is a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I. I mean, yeah. Ten age level. It's like being late 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And like make someone wait. I think it's kind of the same. Like oh, leaving, wait till like the I don't part. care. I have something more important to do. It. Okay, that's another thing. But yes, I think, like for instance, I, where I have to leave with Lincoln, who is, you know, one and a half years old and pooped his pants, I have to go change it. That's something. Because it would be more rude to everybody around me, like, sorry, you poop, but it's in the middle. Of the <laughs> but, you know, or something like that. Or, like, if Lewis, who is four, has to go to the bathroom, it's like, I gotta go. I, you know, I, a lot of times I'll be like, hey, just hold it. We're almost done with the sermon. I don't like to leave during the sermon or something. But if it's like, I really gotta go, then it's like, yeah, we gotta go. But, well, I mean, it depends. It, it, so I think on the age, it kind of depends how old you are and stuff, but it also depends on the emergency. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, had, I had hot wings last night, and it's hitting me now, 9.30 in the morning, I gotta go. That's different. I'd rather do it in the bathroom than right in the pew. Huh? But that's what I mean, <laughs> pew. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the Pew? Pew is what you sit in. Pew, pew. pew. It's, it's no pun double, <laughs> double, <laughs> double, <laughs> double words there. Thanks, Dylan. Oh, so that was good. Oh, good Junior! Year. You know how long it took us to hang that up? Five minutes. Too long. About, about that. <laughs> okay. So I don't think disrespectful unless it's like I think if you're, I think people are thoughtful when they leave like church or so or whatever. Like they're gonna try to be quiet. They're not going out and being like, "Woo! Really need to go to the bathroom now" or something like that. So I think that's a difference. Hey, what you said though? Hey, look. You said something about being late. Hey, look, look. He's not paying attention. He's texting. Time to go. What are you doing, Grot? Yeah. <laughs> Did you post that on Twitter? Atta, baby. Post what on Twitter? Post we just, on Twitter. We're just not disrespectful. Okay, that was I was right, listening, though. I heard everything you said. Hey, to be continued. And we're going to continue this. Yeah, we stopped that. We're going to continue this with being late on time or early. So do we have an immunity thing? Yeah, yeah. The winner is uh, immune, and there may be an immunity idol out there as well. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Okay, Tayson, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, or we'll, we'll wait for Claire to get her other phone, and then we'll send you on your way. So, so I have a specific order I have to go. Are you are you recording right now? Okay, good. There's a specific order. You're gonna send me to the right one first. Though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you exactly where to go. The first one you're gonna get to. After that, you might get confused. <laughs> Next up, after Junior, we have Becca. We, could, we did this with drink. balloons. We had to Ready, take six. Yeah. After I finish this question, you got to make sure you get the hands in front. After I finish this question, the clock will start. OK? The first place you guys go, the first place you guys go is to see Zach on the stage. Go. Yeah. You. Yeah. 
Howdy. Finish this fast food statement. We have the meats. Correct. Your next spot will be Sam, who is under the dragon. Thank you. Junior, <laughs> go. Where's Zach? Zach on the stage. Okay. Back to go. Somewhere. Wherever you want to. Bobby Boucher. Go. Is Sam who's underneath the dragon? Fast food statement. We what? have fast food statement. We have the meats. Correct. And uh, your next place stop is Sam who is underneath the dragon. Oh, go. me. Hi. Go. Go. Stage. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, Josh, <laughs> Three, two, one. Where's the dragon? In there, yeah. Are you stuck on that too? Alright, this is a popular game involving X's and O's. Tic tac toe. Alright, your next stop is Cash and he's sporting some awards. Good luck. Give him what? Awards.
Huh? You gonna go ask? President? I don't think He's so. gonna go ask the teachers. Okay. So it's not a president. Okay, so that, that's... Oh, I don't think so. Is it like, I don't know president? all the presidents. Right now. Quincy Adams. See who it is. John Quincy Adams. James Madison, James Monroe, William. James Monroe. The 18th president. Oh, that's, oh, right. that's the hint I give you. Oh, that's a good question. Golly. Grant. There you go. Grant. 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 Hill City. No, no, no. Well, no, no. Well, it's out Wait. west. Hot, 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 I know. I get that. Hello? Yeah, they're still here. <laughs> <laughs> ask him what they do. Okay, I'll give him the out. The answer is he lifts us grant. Hurry up, hurry up! Hurry. Okay, your next stop is Cooper. There you go. Follow Cooper. Right, hurry, guys. He just gave you guys the answer. I, I'm just walking. I'm just walking. I've walked the whole way here. I'm not running. Oh, thank you. Not going for speed? No, you know. There, there was a movie that I heard about. Not much. Tortoise in the air? Yeah. No, I'm going to lose in the way. Where'd you know? I need the right person. I didn't know the eyes were alive. Okay. JFK! You better hurry, you can eat last. Ah! <laughs> Evans Pond is near what city in South Dakota? What? Evans Pond. Water right, there's two art questions right away. I have no clue. <laughs> it starts with an H. Harrisburg. Nope. It's, it's out only, west. Only H or no. <laughs> it's out west. 
Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. Your next stop is Mr. Shrank at home base. I'm walking. Logan, run! Run! You gotta beat her! Run! Go, Logan! Run, Logan! Go! Go! Just run, just run, just run, just run. Don't push me! 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 Come on! I don't wanna go. Come on, Logan! No! I made it. Dude, I should have came over. I know, I should have came over. I saw you guys. Logan, I don't know, I what, what was the latest episode number we released on the Blue Dragon Buzz? 19? 19 it is! 16 minutes. Welcome to Shrank's Castaway's Elimination Ceremony. We have split up our two teams. There is no more Balboa and no more Baba Boy. And we are on to the individuals. Um, as you saw from this week's episode, we had a scavenger hunt that each individual tried to get. There was an immunity idol out there that nobody found. It was next to... Uh, Cash in his question about the fifty dollar bill, nobody got that. So our only um, our only immunity would be to the winner of that. And through the time spent in the scavenger hunt, Shotsky has been awarded immunity, so he cannot be voted for. So let's get our voting underway. Hmm. There's a mean glare. Baka? Becca. Mike Mazowski. Mike Mazowski. Hola. All right, our voting has commenced. Time to tally the votes. One vote for Becca. I should say, 
with 10 people left, six votes will get you eliminated automatically. Two votes for Becca. Three votes for Becca. One vote for White Mazowski. Two votes for White Mazowski. One vote for Ant. Ant? One vote for Ola. <laughs> three votes left. That's three for Becca, two for Wyke, one for Ant, and one for Olaf. <laughs> That's four votes for Becca. It's official. Becca has been eliminated. That one doesn't count. <laughs> it's not spelled right. Okay. Becca, come on up. I'd like to thank you for your time on Shrinks Castaways. Take care. Okay. Well, that um, was intense. Um, have we seen um, one of the strongest players leave the game, or is there a collusion out there to get rid of certain players? Let's tune in next week as we uh, get another individual competition underway. All right. Um, before we get started, is that volume working on there, on there, on there, on there? Yeah. Is it getting to the red or not? No. We're good? It, sh it should be getting closed, but it's not on there. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 21 post game show we are talking today corn nuts corn nuts because why not i don't know why i wrote this down you guys i don't know if somebody said something in class like one day and i just wrote down corn nuts for a post game show so that's what we're doing um quick recap on this episode this is by far one of the best episodes so if you made it to the post game you went through one of our best episodes yet um, on this episode, we had um, What's in the Box, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, we had um, our Shanks Castaways with our interviews and um, our scavenger hunt. It was a good episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a little feedback here, not just – I'll recap it, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, we did the Castaways with uh, the scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt was a lot of fun. Um, biggest uh, surprise out of the scavenger hunt. Shotsky winning. Shotsky winning. Oh, I scared him. Um, yeah, Shotsko winning was the biggest part of that. <laughs> Thought I was going to ask you to jump on quick and eat a corn nut. Um, and so, yeah, and then this is obviously the post game. So um, we're talking corn nuts today. First off and foremost, um, Cooper. Cooper went, I think we got to start with. Original, right? Yeah. Okay, but first of all, let's talk. Let's give a little corn nut background. Okay. Um, first things first. Cooper and Dylan went up and got corn nuts, so thank you, Cooper and Dylan. No problem, guys, for doing that. Um, <laughs> but um, we have four flavors. Got corn nuts original, corn nuts ranch, corn nuts barbecue, and my favorite that I've never had, believe it or not, corn nuts jalapeno cheddar. So I'm pretty excited to try those. Um, who has ha not had corn nuts here before? Never had a corn nut? No. Nope. Grot, you have? Yeah. You have? <laughs> have you? Yeah. I say, did you just wake up from a nap just a second ago? No. Oh, you look tired. Maybe you need a nap. Um, a does nap. he look tired? Yeah. You, okay? you feeling okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't have to get defensive. I'm just asking you how you feel. It's just like a, it's just a kind thing to do. I'm just worried about you. Um, I have had corn nuts before. Uh, how about out here? Who hasn't had corn nuts? I didn't know what they were. Shotsko hasn't. Dylan? I didn't know what they were until I saw the bag, and yes, I have had them. Okay, so you, you didn't think you did, but then you saw the bag, like, oh, yeah, I've had corn nuts before. Cash, you've had them. 
Logan, never had a corn nut. Okay, you're going to try some today, okay? All right. Jaden, never a corn nut. Jaden's been – why are you not in this? You've been bashing this corn nut idea for a while Get now. Get in here. You going to try some corn nuts? Right here. Right here. Yeah, you can saddle up. Hey, we got plenty of room over here. Jace, corn nut? Yeah. How about you, Tayson? Never a corn nutter? I've never had one. Really? These are the crunchiest Whoa. snack. What do you like about corn nuts? Um, they the actually have really good flavor. These ones have really good flavor. Barbecue, yeah. And yeah, when you just get a big crunch. Ah, the crunchy, yeah, absolutely. I like the crunchy. So we're going to get a little ASMR action on this oh, yeah. as well because we're going to crunch into these. So we'll start with original. I'm just going to pour some out here. Um, will you guys help deliver these to other tables? Here, give them a napkin. Right. Yeah, I know. It's weird that you still have to work even though you're not working. Here. No, here, I'll just pour some on, and then they can haul, haul them true, over. True, true, true. Do you want these per person? Or no. Yeah. I don't know. How many t paper towels did you get? How, bi how good of planning have you done? We got a lot. We got a bunch of paper towels. All right. Nice. You guys can be our waiters in our sit-down restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I looked at you, Tayson. What do we get paid? I'm still a little bitter about that conversation we had. Yeah, Hey, everyone's got some over here, over there. So I'll sit down Is it corner or I just said you can stand up. It, who'd you say? Who said that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go first. Hold on. Vecca needs to say that again to make sure that everybody heard her. <laughs> Cancel that. I said, is it corn or a nut? That is what we're going to find out with this first bite. Are you nervous? You're not allergic to anything, are you? No. Okay, sorry. No. Should, I should have asked that out. before. Crunch, him. crunch, crunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First bite, original. We're going to talk about the flavor. We're going to talk about the texture. We're going to talk about whether it's corn or not. Hey, we're all going on, on one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> the crunch is there, but the flavor is just kind of... I wouldn't be able to eat any yeah. of these. The barbecue has better flavor. Definitely need to... Uh, no, they taste like Fritos. That's what yeah. I was thinking of. I was like, they taste like other, yeah. some other chip. I think it's corn. So, but also, what is what what kind of chip is a is a Frito? Corn. It's, it's a corn chip, right? Yeah. True. Definitely what the corn nut is. But what's the nut part about it? Um, yeah, that's, that's hard. It looks like a kernel. A like kernel corn of corn, kernel. not a kernel yeah. of nut. Oh, a nut. <laughs> is it the hard part? No, you can't read the bag. It's the hard part. Mm. I'm definitely it's still getting... still decent, but, like, I'm looking for my flavor. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, you guys, I'm just getting the sound right here on my mic. Oh, that's really crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> they can hear it. Oh, right oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I can hear it. Um, I would say I won't put as many on your guys' napkin next time. Um, I would say, <laughs> can't have a corn nut without a glass of water. Mm -hmm. True. Because that first one dried, dried my mouth yeah. out pretty bad. All right. Where's the drinks at, Dylan? <laughs> Cooper. Okay. I got to try to cleanse myself. Are we going ranch or barbecue yeah, next? Ranch. Ranch. Ranch style. Is anybody here not like ranch at all? Hey. I don't like I don't like ranch. I don't you, like you don't ranch. like ranch at all. No, like dipping ranch or like ranch flavored stuff. Dipping ranch. I don't like ranch at all. Ranch. I, I say they just pour them on and just keep the same one. Yeah, no, that's fine. I will, now that we're like that, I will just pass this around. Oh, here you go. Wait, I gotta make sure. I you know what? I'm telling you right now. Okay, that was the original flavor, so I can't really say it. But when we did like the Pringles, oh, they're I think, lighter. Oh, ooh, these ones have been sun roasted. <laughs> Oh, you can really smell it, can't you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. I've only ever had one flavor. Oh wait, sorry. You've only had original. I've only had the original. Really? Yep. I've only had these ones. I don't think I've ever had barbecue or jalapeno cheddar. Now that I think about it. I think I've only had original. I think I've had these ranch because somebody's told me to try them. You know what's weird about it? I think I know exactly where I was. I was at a golf course. Somebody had a package of corn nuts. I'm like, who brings corn nuts to a golf course? Oh. Hmm. All right, are you ready? Oh, hold on. On one again? Three, two, one. Mmm, that ASMR crunch. <clears throat> these are actually decent. Yeah, these are actually really good. 
I don't like ranch. I can smell them from over here. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I mean, they're okay. Are we going to rate it out of 10? I mean, we can. I'll give the first one a three. No yeah. rookie scores. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, add a girl, Bryn. What? No rookie scores. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. If you have, if you were to go out of 10 for the original corn nut, we have a three rookie score. Uh, I'll go 4.1. 2.8. Four point three. For the original. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go like seven point four. Not a boy. Um, I'm gonna do three point six. Six point two. On the original? I, yeah, I personally like the original. Mm. Are you a corn chip type person? Yep. Uh, my wife is too. All right. On the ranch. Ranch loop. Three point nine. I'll go like a five point five. Hey, you're not up. <laughs> <laughs> I get a 5.8. 5.2. do like a 6.1. I do like a 6.8. 3.2. Hmm. Didn't like ranch that much. Yeah, my original was more. I feel like I really lowballed both of my scores there. Nope. Oh, yeah. Barbecue corn nut time. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and talk about uh, where you got these corn nuts from? Uh... Dow Street of Garrison, South Dakota. Uh, Jesse James. Uh, um, oh. The first, second, third, and fourth column. At Jesse James Country mm -hmm. Store? Yep. Very nice. Who sold us them? I don't know. The girl. The girl! There's only. Oh, shoot. Cooper! Who opened that? Yeah, I got a little crazy on that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. These ones are dark. Okay, so the originals are regular colored. The ranch are light. Yep, these ones are dark. You're really good at the appearance of things. Okay, yeah. we're not ready yet. No, we're not sorry. Ready. I I feel like you guys have really like put my expectation of what this is gonna taste like way up here right now. It's good. Well, it's good, but I don't know if you think it looks good. <sighs> I like barbecue stuff. Big fan of barbecue. The smells. Smells, really smells or smells good. Smells good. Five, yeah. four, three. Two, one. Hmm. Tastes like tacos, not not, not barbecue. <laughs> Tastes like taco. It did not have the barbecue flavor that I thought I was gonna get. I'm gonna I'm gonna let these sit in the mouth yeah. for a little bit. Not barbecue. It's like smoke barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's not taste like barbecue. Does it say what kind of barbecue on the bag? No, just barbecue. Just barbecue. Yep. This is not the barbecue flavor I was expecting. Me either. I'm not far off of the taco seasoning. I mean, they're good, but not barbecue. I still think I like them better than the other two. Okay. I'm going to go 5.4 on the old no rookie score scale. I'll go 7.5. A what? 7.5. 7.2. Uh, 7.8. Mmm. 5.1. Lower. I'll do a 7.1. Probably 6.8. I wanted them to be higher, but the Aren't these all taste higher? went away way It did. It did. I agree. The taste just is like not... Taste is there and then gone. It's not like pow, pow. No. I pow. Like either, but I agree. I feel like the jalapenos are going to be the best ones. Does anybody not like jalapeno stuff here? No. Mm, does anybody Taysen. love jalapenos? Taysen stuff? thinks shake pepper is hot. <laughs> I love jalapenos. <laughs> Taysen, you do, you think that? <laughs> well, hold on, time out. Did I get a did I get a jalapeno. shake pepper is hot? Oh, That's what we're gonna call it. Is it called ground pepper? <laughs> yeah, black pepper. Yeah, black pepper. Yeah, shake ground shake pepper. pepper. You mean pepper out of the shaker? Yeah. Yeah, shake pepper. I I'm gonna call that for now on. Pepperoni was hot. Did you really? Yeah. Hey, I mean, they're are, they're they're spicier than they're light again. Regular beef, <laughs> other sausages. <laughs> These are light again. Are they? I love it when you bend over and hit the mic on the table, and then it's like <laughs> pow in my ear. Okay, this is jalapeno cheddar. They don't look very jalapeno cheddar. They don't look like that very much. Uh, oh god, I just did the same thing. Oh really? Struggling a little bit. Um, well, I got yelled at for how big the hole was on the first one, on the last one, so I went a little smaller this time. Okay, how many are you doing? You guys just doing one at a time? Yeah. Doing one. 
five, four, three, two, one. What the? Oh, those are good. Tasted like a. No. Tasted like a candy corn to me, quick. Candy corn? It doesn't have much flavor. Okay, first of all, tons Wait. of flavor packed into this one. But is that initial taste that you're getting is the cheddar. Yeah. That is the cheese. Wow, these are good. Let it re- resonate a little, a little bit. Then the, then the jalapeno comes. Can I have a little mm-hmm. kick? I mean, jalapeno. <laughs> I think they're good, though. These are good. You know, anytime I'm scoring something that I'm eating, when I get that little flare on the tongue, a little spice, it automatically like bumps it up a point or two. Which I too. like. We worked hard on that. I didn't do anything. <laughs> good me. All right, I'm going to go. I can't go seven. I'm going to go 6.9. Nougat? <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> what did I say last time? Seven and a half. What? I'm gonna go eight point two. Wow, that's your highest one, right? Yeah. That's my highest one. Five point nine. Two point one. Oh. I go seven seven. Seven point seven. Um. Are we getting above one over there? Probably six point five. Oh. Hey. One point one. One point one. I did not like them at all. You know, I gotta admit that che- that that cheese cheddar taste right away. No, the cheddar is not good in my opinion. The first one I had, I was like, "Whoa, not what I wanted." Cause it kind of tastes like it tastes like candy corn right away. No, no, it's you guys. You guys go to ball games or whatever. You go somewhere, you get nacho chips and cheese, right? Mm-hmm. What it tasted like was the nacho cheese, but when it's cold. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I did not like that right away. But then, man, that jalapeno at the end. So what was your, your got jalapeno? Jalapeno was my highest. Say me. What'd barbecue you? Mine. Barbecue, barbecue. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Barbecue. 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 Original. Original. So it was tied. Just give me the corn nut. Yep. So it was tied. Tied. Three jalapeno, three barbecue. Oh, tied. Yeah, if you ate those for like 10 oh, minutes. Oh, you're talking about yeah, somebody. Like, like you, sweat. you think so? I think so. Maybe. All right. Well, any anybody have any facts on corn nuts that you can share? I think they're made in South Dakota. (laughs) Chicago, Illinois. (laughs) (laughs) Midwest, baby. That counts, right? I have an idea. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do like it for a different one. Uh, Should we just end this first? Well, we can, unless you have an idea about corn nuts. No, I, I don't really. Can I look? We're all good? Yeah, I think we're good. All good? I swear it. Yeah. yeah. All good? Yeah. All right, well. Those are good. Anytime that we can have an excuse to try uh, try something new to eat on our podcast, we take advantage of it. So episode 21, that's a wrap. Let's cut it. <laughs>